Hi everyone, welcome to this WBZ web update. I'm Ken McLeod checking your top stories. Boston police have arrested six teenagers and a Weymouth woman after a big melee near Carter Playground in Boston. You can see people running from the scene on Columbus Avenue last night. At one point, officers saw a 16 year old boy on the ground, but he wouldn't cooperate, wound up running off. Dozens of police responded to the area. Most of the suspects are charged with disorderly conduct and or resisting arrest. In Boston and all across the country, women took to the streets for a national day of action on reproductive rights. Organizers say they want to make it clear that women will not be silent in continuing to demand their rights. They're urging women everywhere to vote for candidates in the upcoming midterm elections who support abortion rights. Today marks 30 days until Election Day. And the Green Line D branch is shut down this weekend through October 16th. Shuttle buses will replace trolley service between Riverside and Kenmore. The T is replacing tracks and other equipment as part of a $200 million project. This is the second of three planned shutdowns. The third is scheduled to start on October 22nd. Well, how about a few more classic fall days? Meteorologist Jacob Wyckoff is here now to fill your order on that. Yeah, if you like today, you're going to love tomorrow as well with temperatures today getting back into the mid to low 60s, some upper 50s on the board. Pretty close to downright perfect with the amount of sunshine we had. Uh, it was a crisp day, don't get me wrong, but I think that when you think of fall days, you think of days like today. We do have that clear sky on our uh, satellite and radar. We're looking good as we go into this evening. We do have a ribbon of clouds will try to build in, but I think we'll, from start to finish tomorrow, be on the sunny side. I think some of you may actually wake up with a little patchy frost, especially inland, mid 30s for our overnight lows, and that's going to be the springboard for us as we go back into the mid to low 60s and upper 50s. We do have a frost and freeze advisory uh, in in effect for much of southern New England. The area shaded in blue will have to watch for that frost in the morning, but we are on our way to the low 60s tomorrow. Pretty nice fall day kind of blustery too with winds anywhere from 5 to 15 miles per hour that's what we see on future cast the dry weather in place for all day sunday so our seven day forecast does feature some mid to low 60s over the coming days chance for a shower as we go thursday late into friday i do think there could be some heavy rain that moves on through but much of thursday dry and then early friday that will push on out of here and we're back into the low 60s heading into saturday ken all right, Jacob, thanks. That is a check on your top stories from CBSBoston.com. I'm Ken McLeod. Have a great night, and we'll see you next time.